Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Smell Engine Velocity again, coming to you with a new video. And today's video is a different one. It is a product that I, I, I heard about people talking about online and professionals use, and I wanted to try something to see if I can make it work for what I want to work for. Um, and that is for cleaning carburetors. So without much further ado, here we go. Let's go and check this out. So here's what I'm talking about. This is the package that I got from Amazon for about $85. There was a discount online that I could buy it and this is what it is. Here you go. It is an ultrasonic cleaner by Rove Sun. Uh, it is a three liter ultrasonic cleaner. It uses hot water and uh, it also uses um, ultrasonic sound waves to clean your products. So uh, I just wanted to see if I could try this out. Um, I feel like I have enough bikes and enough parts where that uh, something like this would uh, make sense for me. So uh, let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. All right, so all right, so along with the uh, user manual, which we'll use this later on, comes with a power cable. Off the top. Comes with a uh, foam. And nothing else in the box. And here it is. It has a, a heater knob and a timer. Uh, we look at the top of this. The lid comes off. Kind of looks like uh, something from a, a restaurant when you look at it. Uh, inside is a basket, which I guess I could put smaller parts in here. And imagine how well I could clean jets with this um, sonic, ultrasonic cleaner. But uh, put it inside here. I guess you put this over the edge. Over here. And the lid fits on top. Actually, you know what? I think you put these on the inside. And then you close the lid. If you look on the back, there's a power button. And the hole for the power cord. Uh, it looks like it's got a... A stainless finish with a pattern etched on top of it. Two little handles so you can carry it around with you. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read the instructions and then I will take this in the inside and we'll do a little uh, cleaning of the carburetor for the Project Zuma. I'm gonna go ahead and take all the plastics off of it first. The plastic and electronics off of it first so I can soak it in water first. But um, let's go ahead and get to that. So here's the carburetor. I took it apart. And if you want to kind of get an idea of its condition, there's buildup in all sorts of little places and tarnishing. And if you're wondering what that sound is, that's my dog walking around. Oop, I forgot to take that jet out, but I'll take that out in a second. Um, I don't know if you can see on the inside of here, there's a lot of something going on in here as far as corrosion and then we take a look here if you remember this from the last video it's pretty bad on the inside too see all that build up and stuff and here and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in there too maybe it's a little bit more complicated than the other pieces but hey you never know but the idea is that I can put this in there and it will blast it with sonic waves and heat and uh, make it nice and clean again. So we'll go ahead and get this, put them in here, and then put them inside the cleaner. Okay, then 
put the lid back on. Of course, this is just a simulation because I don't even put the power cord in. But then we go ahead and put the water and do whatever recommended settings there are in there. But let's go ahead, read some instructions, and then go ahead and give this a shot and see what it looks like. Okay, so I set it to about a little under 140 for 15 minutes and put the parts in the water, as you can see. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on and let this do its thing for 15 minutes. Hopefully we can get the desired result that we want from this ultrasonic cleaner. Keep in mind it was made for uh, large jewelry, PCP boards, and, and other things. So let's see how well this does on a, an average size carburetor. Actually a little bit small, but they do make bigger carburetors, but it should fit in here. Anyways, let's go ahead and hurry up and wait. Okay, warning to you guys who are sound sensitive, like, I literally felt like I was getting dizzy with this in my kitchen while I was trying to make myself something for dinner. So I have moved it outside. All right, so keep in mind if you're gonna use this product, this Rosen Ultrasonic Cleaner Manufacturing Expert um, to uh, try to use it away from people with sensitive ears. Like I'm outside right now and I feel kind of weirded out and dizzy. So, just a warning. All right, so here's the finished product. If you take a look, here is the main part of the carburetor. And there is no more dirt in any of the crevices. And I don't know if you saw in here earlier because I didn't have good light, but this was caked in corrosion that I couldn't rub off with a paper towel or I tried to use some uh, uh, scotch bright didn't work and then the inside here you could still see some stuff but I think that's just imperfections um, but yeah so I'm fairly sure that they're all the holes are cleared but it looks really good I mean it's not polished but looks good then you have the bulb and it looks good too now there's still that staining on the inside from before and uh but if you look this little crevice in here it's super clean it's shiny again you know all all the holes are clear and then this wasn't that dirty to begin with but if you look it's doing well it's nice and now I wish I had a picture of the actual machine itself but when I was com uh, completed with the machine uh, there was a bunch of look like sand and soot on the bottom that probably came off all these now I left it in there for about 40 minutes I turned the timer twice to 20 minutes and uh, I probably could have left it in there longer but it's kind of doing a review it's late at night so I went ahead and pulled it out to, to kind of get an idea of what and its progress. So there you go with this uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Now keep in mind the ultrasonic cleaner wasn't made for, well I mean I guess it was made for stuff like this, but this was really dirty and probably could have used a lot more um, attention and more time in the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, but it did a good job. Um, who would this be good for? This would be good for someone who um, has a lot of bikes or a lot of projects like me, <laughs> uh, who wants to be able to throw something into a cleaner, let it do its job while they can work on something else, or throw multiple pieces inside of there. Clean jets, clean bolts. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff I'm gonna discover throwing in there. Uh, for the price it was, was it worth it? Uh, that's yet to be determined, but so far the answer is yes. Uh, so, look forward to seeing in the future and other videos doing other things for other projects throughout this season and longer. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Please leave me a comment if you know anything about these and if I did something wrong or if I could have done it better. 
Um, I don't ever claim to be an expert. I'm not a, um, an ultrasonic cleaner expert or anything like that, and I don't claim to be. Uh, I am just trying to find products that have been recommended to me for uh, getting a particular job done. Anyways, thank you, and I will see everybody in the next video.